All right, this is part two of my Balazon knife review, my own personal collection. Um, as I was saying about this one, this is a uh, Chinese made a Cobra branded knife. I again use this for my everyday carry use because it um, looks good. You know, it's reasonably easy to access. Uh, you know, and it's not too heavy, it's not too weighty like this one is. And the, uh, the blade is decently sharp so I can actually use this for uh, you know cutting boxes and whatever utilitarian stuff I can think of at work or what have you um, don't know if you can focus in on that but that is a uh, Cobra USA first production uh, batch first production run excuse me um, this is made in China by the way so don't let that labeling deceive you um, that said it's a really good well-built knife uh, for its cost uh, I personally like it because it looked and uh, that's an upgrade over that. That's kind of priority of getting this one. So uh, for 20 bucks, you know, nice everyday Balazon I can practice with, use on boxes, and not worry about uh, really freaking out if it gets confiscated. You know, if I had this one, carried this one, and it got taken by, uh, you know, for some reason, or lent it to somebody, and they lost it, that'd be a little sour. So uh, <laughs> this is kind of my disposable, cool everyday use knife. So um, you know, so. That's this one. Um, if you're going to start off with a knife um, and you can't afford either this one or the MTech, honestly, if you can't afford the MTech, you shouldn't even really be considering buying a knife. But uh, uh, if you can't afford these two or they're not available, uh, starting off with this one's not too awful. Uh, this one isn't going to widely wobble on you. I've actually tracked practice on that one for a lot and it hasn't broken. Whereas this one, oh my goodness, it's not even. I mean, that's a hazard for me to even consider doing a simple opening on it because the knife, the blade could just detach any minute from that and just go flying into the, the hall, the door, or the mic. So, um, for those reasons, I'm not really fond of playing on that, but I have to consider this being a safety risk to really flip that. But this one, I actually wouldn't feel too unsafe. Um, this one, this is the M Tech Twist. It has a well deserved reputation as being a really good knife for the price. The only flaw is your, uh, you want to take these screws out, put a Loctite in them ASAP, otherwise there's going to be issues, um, aka the blade flying up and hitting you in the neck by accident, or arm, or some other very expensive part to fix. So, um, yeah, um, this one, the only thing I do is worry about that, otherwise it's a really well-built knife. Um, it's it's uh, The finish is gunmetal, it's not a weird finish like this one, where it can slip out of your hand, or even this one, where because it's a... Uh, it's a rainbow paint on it, you know, it's kind of hard to grip on some of the more difficult moves. This is actually a pretty decent material to, to grip with. So, um, if you have to start off with a knife and you can't afford the uh, Bradley series or bench models, um, this is a good place to ram me about 20, 20 something dollars. And uh, it's a really good knife. Um, the blade has a, the blade has a design by Daryl Ralph written on the side of Tech 3 USA. Again, uh, that's kind of a, a misleading term because it's actually made in China. But uh, again, this is a really good quality knife. You can even have designs on the uh, lock, on the latch, which uh, it's not exactly a uh, high-tech latch or one that's really got much resistance to it, but uh, it's a decent knife and it's a decently designed latch. So functionally, this is a really good knife. The only thing I would say it's missing is a, uh, is a clip like this one. It's kind of why it sits down weird when I face it the other way because it has a little carry clip. But if this had a carry clip on it, this would be like the perfect knife for everyday use. So, um, yeah, for again $20, this is a really good knife and a very high quality way to get started in balance on. So if you had to start off with any of them, um, in an ideal world, I would have known this was the best knife to go with before I went into Sturt and just bought it and just, you know, didn't even deal with those two. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so um, instead of wasting $40 and then realizing that this is what you should have started with or one of these, you know, so uh, don't don't be like me and spend $40 on stuff that you could have spent this and that and then gotten away with. But anyways, um, this, is a, the, this one's a M Tech and uh, I really like this one. So that's... Uh, that's this one, and uh, the other one, the one that's over here in shiny, this is not the most expensive knife because it's shiny. Actually, this is uh, Bradley Kimura. Uh, it's the most expensive because it's made in the USA, and it's a really high-quality knife. I mean, you pick it up, and you feel right away that there's a very big difference between the quality of this knife and, uh, and this one, or even, holy crap, yeah, that, that speaks for itself. So, um, 
there's a whole different level in quality. It's like going from uh, driving your buddy's 88 Ford Taurus to uh, to driving a, a, a 2010 BMW. It's a totally difference in uh, in use. So uh, you only live once, so you want to get the best that you can. And uh, in this respect, the uh, Bradley Camaro is very impressive, at least to me. Um, setting aside the finish, this is polished stainless steel. It's an exclusive edition. Um, this one is number 17, I believe, out of... Uh, a limited edition run of 100 so uh this is a really sharp knife I'm not just speaking literally it's uh, excuse the pun it's actually a very sharp knife if you never cut anything with it um this is a very reflective knife as you all can see you can see my phone to my face hello uh really easy in this one um and the, uh, the video doesn't really do it justice but this is a very clean knife very um it's very reflective it's like holding a, a balancing mirror in your hand basically so uh, yeah it's a very beautiful knife uh made in usa legitimately so uh you know this one ran me about 143 dollars but um i don't even know if you can get these anymore i kind of got lucky and bought this because it was kind of the uh didn't realize it when i bought it off blade play but this was kind of the last one because when i checked to see how many more they had on that site um it says sold out or out of stock so um, this being a limited edition run, I'm not sure if they've got any more. So, uh, even if they don't, and you just get the regular Bradley Kimura 2, uh, it's still a very high quality knife, I'm sure. Uh, I'd actually recommend you get that one versus getting these because, you know, the problem I have now is that as nice as this is to hold, flip, and use, I don't want to use it because it's, you know, a limited edition knife. So, I don't want to scratch it or put it in any situation where it can get damaged. But, uh, things I like about this one and why it's worth the money. The average, the actual, Standard Bradley Kimura knife is about $100, and uh, for that money, it's a steal. It's definitely recommended. Uh, this one ran me $143 because I was an idiot, and I bought the, uh, the limited edition one because I was impulsive and wanted it, but it's a nice knife. Either way, um, regardless of which version you get, and uh, the blade's really sharp. Um, I would show you, but I can only hold, I only have two hands, and uh, I need a third to actually cut that and uh, how sharp it is. So, um, it's really sharp. You're your uh, t-handle here not spring but uh it does have some healthy resistance to it so when you're flipping it you know instead of it having it dangle on the bottom and beat your hand up when you're doing combinations and maneuvers um, it actually stays put and behaves itself so i love that about this knife um it's kind of my big thing when i was looking at this i was like 143 dollars and no spring but it doesn't need it uh, it's very high quality as you can see that knife is uh phew, ding, sharp um so it's really beautiful um if you can get a hold of the stainless steel version like this one limited edition uh, it's a beautiful knife um again this is so beautiful in fact that i'm gonna have to you know i'm gonna have to buy a bench made not just because it's the best knife you can but uh because i can't see myself uh, using this on a daily basis and scratching it or getting it dirty or screwing it up or really beating on it and the other ones are all you know chinese models even the m tech is chinese so once you get in one of these it's like a different sense so anyways um i can't really impart what it's like the difference in quality but uh, it's like that infinity commercial you know once you own one of these you understand and uh i want to impart to you that if you can possibly help it start off with a high quality bench made or bradley or spider co knife if you can't then get the m tech these two um you can buy them if you just want knives in your collection just because you like them but uh, don't buy these thinking that you're gonna get you know a really uh, you're gonna get away with something all right you get what you pay for in anything especially with belt unks so uh, yeah that's my review of them and uh i might post an individual review of this knife and uh later on but i just want to kind of break down my collection for you and show you what the benefits are um thanks for watching and uh have a great day